Step into the ring. everyone welcome to uh, Clark College Smash Ultimate Tournament real quick we got a couple a uh, couple people making this thing possible first off ritual motion very cool people ritual motion is a leading health and wellness brand for gaming. The company is founded with the mission supporting the gaming and esports community by promoting health wellness diversity and inclusion through content products and social impact for best-selling product to date addresses something gamers and esports athletes are very familiar with and in risk problems if you play a lot you'll know what it is it's like carpal tunnel it, it hurts it is not fun to do but ritual motions warrior gaming skins they offer high performance compression for your wrists and hands yeah they developed the sport <laughs> they developed <laughs> Sorry. The delivery st structured support to help you avoid injury, enjoy relief from wrist pain, and game longer. Happy hands lead to more game time and means more wins. You can go to their shop, ritualmotion.com slash shop, to check out more about them. Also, a little bit about us. We're having a national championship esports open with Bravis. This term is brought to you by us, Bravest Esports. Our mission is to grow esports communities by running events, creating content, and helping organizers at colleges, parks and rec, apartments, and other places. If you have an esports scene you want to help kickstart, let us know, and we'll help you however we can. Bravest.com. Right now, we are just going to be waiting a little bit for our challengers to lobby. And yeah. First one's gonna be Parkeroni versus. See how that goes.
to get this started soon. Give us a moment while these gamers select their characters. Get all set up. All right, looks like we're getting into it. We got a Greninja versus a Joker. Okay, okay. Doomst. Rocky is Greninja. Very cool. Abby will be on Joker. Three, two, one, Let us game go. it up. All right. So we're starting off. A quick damage coming up from Karaki. Comes out with a little unsafe from Ariel and gets. That's kind of, just, kind of just stealing each other out. You know how it is. Greninja getting some good damage. Down tilt. Try to get like a an air dodge read. 
Our sun's out. That is no good. That's a little spooky. Brock, you can deal with this well. No trouble at all. Back really safely. Tries to go for the get-up attack read with the counter there. Doesn't get anything from it. Actually, just punish for it. Calls the jump in with the fair. Tabby on this guy. Tabby lost her jump somehow. Her jump somehow. And loses a stock for that. Nice three percent though. A little bit of a good, a good, good amount of percent. Tabby can definitely get a KO sometimes. Ooh, low profiles that up smash right below it. Good. I mean, Brock, you seem to be. Brock, Brock oh no, I'm sorry. You seem to be just like. Doning each other out a lot. We're just throwing out random stuff. It's a combination of the two. It works, it works. No edge guard. Understandable. Ooh, gets a nice double hit up smash. Go for the down tilt, but this is the conversion. This is another down tilt, and this is the conversion. Dash tech up there. I'm just having a little trouble here getting down. Juggled a lot. Gets hit by a meaty back air. See if Tabby can at least get one stock. A little, a little even. If any character can come back, Joker's one of them. That's definitely one of them. Arsene is just such a powerhouse. Owned out really well. Rockaroni just getting really safe hits and conversions like that. Air to forward air. I don't know what happened there. Tabby might have lost her jump or the next game. Threw it. I went out of here. Game one's a Procaroni. And they go to stage banning, so we will see where they're going to. I'm always a fan of Pokemon Stadium too. That's just me though. I think that's just one of the most balanced stages. Except for that new glitch they found where you can like collide through the stage and land on the stage. I, was really I don't know if anyone's seen that. Real wacky though. Alright, looks like they're going back at it. A little color swap, maybe that'll help out Tabby. Go for the blue one. Okay, okay. Doesn't like blue. Blue's a great color. Going to... back to Smashville, actually. Okay. Or Town City. You know, that's a great stage too. And it's the one we're on. Isn't that crazy how that works? Alright. Right back to it. Are we getting a little molly -wop, but... Let's just call it Building Arson. And there it is. There's, there's Big Daddy. Sorry, Adam Sandler. What were some nice dash attacks? Those dash attacks do a lot of damage with Arsen out. Abby needs to get some sort of combos going. Get damage conversions. Gets hit by a huge back air. I don't know if that was bad DI or that's just a strong back air. 
Greninja is slapping those aquatic, like, webbed toes. We're sent back out again. Rock Roni just loving that Nair. It is a good combo starter. Does some decent damage. If you hit it with a landing, if you hit on landing, you can get some really good uh, follow ups off of it. Pick up there. Ooh, Paraka running over the down air there. Damage and gets a nice another back air. Nice back air, as they call it. Comes down and just down smashes. I like it. Abby really needs to get the KO here. Paraka running off stage. Kind of forward smashing off stage, not really going out there. Joker, one of the characters that's really good at going out there, but gets the nice up smash. Finishing off that stock. Counter, get off of me, you frog. Everyone wants to get a little bit more damage out of this Arsene before it goes away. Rocker Oni's like, I don't want it that near me at all. On. Was a nice shuriken. And Tabby air dodges there on accident. SDs for that one. Unfortunate. Procaroni takes that 2 0. Nice. Very solid performance from Procaroni. And Tabby just needs to get a little more comfortable on some stuff. Maybe get some conversions down. And you can see out the bracket on exclamation point bracket. Right there. The, you can see up to dates on the bracket currently. Right now we are waiting on an update from Disciple versus Mega Dude. But we will get back to that in a second. In the meantime, let's talk about Ritual Mood. Get gloves that have compression that increases blood flow in the hands and reduces muscle fatigue. Very good for gaming. They're fingerless, lightweight. Design, and the design provides flexibility and full range of motion. They're hand stitched in the USA and feature custom designs. There's even one with a GameCube controller on it. Which I might cop, who knows. Find more there, virtualmotion.com slash shop. And more about us again. We're Bravest Esports. Our mission is to grow esports communities by running events, creating content, and helping organizers at colleges, parks and rec, departments, and other places. If you have an esports scene you want to help kickstart, let us know. We'll work out however we can. So we're going to get the next set of players in. We're going to kick people some out. So yeah, we'll get results in soon and we'll get our next match started in a moment.
So yeah, right now we're just waiting for a match to finish, then we'll get another match going. In the meantime, Pog Shop. Can I get a Pog Champ in chat? That's all I want. That's all I need in life. That's what I like to see. Alright, last game ended. Now we're waiting for our competitors to get in. It's gonna be Parkeroni versus Mega Dude. Very cool name. Very mega. Very alpha. Alright, meantime, we're just waiting for them to pick fan, select their characters, and we'll get right into the action. So you guys can watch this beautiful battle arena. Look at that ring. Little Mac would love to fight, fight in that ring. So no Parker Roni does a mean Greninja. He's got a mean Greninja. Mega Dude's hovering a Byleth. Uh, icon. We'll see what he. Would not be surprised if it's Byleth. But Byleth is just cool. So I, I respect it for the picture, you know?
It is a cool event, huh? Everyone's just trying their best to one-up each other. Be the be the winner at the end of the day, the breadwinner, the uh, the head hot show, the the winner. Yeah. Hey, no problem, man. Problem B sauce 1888. Alright, Parkeroni is ready to rumble. Wait, a mega dude. Finish selecting up. Get right into this. Oh, alright. Greninja versus a Kirby. Very interesting. Looks like our first stage is going to be Pokemon Stadium 2. A great map. No bias. This might be a little annoying for Greninja because Kirby is pretty light and very small. But I don't know how conversions are going to work out for Greninja. But I mean, Parkeroni is doing quite well so far, so. Knock on wood. I don't have any wood near me, so I can't. Feel bad. Comes down with a rock. A classic. Everyone loves coming down with a rock. And he kicks him! Right when he's coming down. 105% he goes down. That's crazy. Head up smashing something. Double jab reset. Oh, Nelly. Up air, drag down, double jab reset, forward smash. That is how you finish a stock, Greninja. Alright, back to neutral game, feeling each other out. Coming down as the big rock, I like it. And punish for the rock a little bit. Rolls behind him and does nothing, a classic. Double jab reset, forward smash to the edge, not going to be high enough for Sim to finish that off, but gets the back air, gets the red sparks, but doesn't, isn't able to end it off. It's another hit, Kirby is out of jumps here, I think, and he's not able to make it back. Very, very close. Maybe if Kirby air dodged at the beginning of the recovery, maybe, but who knows. Mega Dude just eating that shuriken like it's water. Which it is, crazy enough. But like, Greninja's a frog, so probably like swampy water. Ooh. Nice rar back air. Get out of here, don't, don't approach me. I'm Kirby. Go for the drill up smash, doesn't get that. Armors through the up, both hits of up smash with the rock. It's able to just throw it out instead of getting juggled. Get the KO on Parkeroni. I don't know if Kirby has any combo throws, but uh... Well, Kirby juggling? Ooh! That's only Greninja's job. Air dodging away, being safe. See if Parker only can finish this off. He did have a quite a bit of a lead. He almost gets the forward smash, but Kirby air dodges right through it. Negative returns it with their own forward smash. Parker only getting back. Apparently, he's a little spooky. Ooh. Parker only just barely outside of the forward smash range. Negative is able to get the air dodge out. Parker only's off stage. Negative just knocked away. Bring this back for three, gets a meaty back air. 130% right now. What happened? Oh! The final cut slices Parkeroni and sends him to the abyss, barely clipping him. 
Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Negative's gonna take game one here. Very close game. I, I did not know who got hit and whatnot there. That was that was crazy. Holy cow. It looks like Mega Dude was throwing out a lot of rocks, down bees, during that, and was able to get out of juggles pretty freely. I was able to get actually one KO for sure. I forget if it was the second, if it was the first one as well. It was the second one was definitely a rock KO way up high. I forget the first one, but Parker Oni can't really juggle Kirby because the rock is so scary. I mean, you got KO'd at like, like. 80-85% off the top. That was crazy. Arcaroni ready to get right back in it. Eventually. Wait on Mega Dude now. Take your time though. God all day. Maybe not, but just you know. Back in it, same characters, same colors. It's gonna be the same stage. What a battlefield, okay. I like it. Another platform to work with for Greninja. Maybe a little bit more easier juggle times. Up Smash is definitely gonna be able to poke the platforms too. Side ones. each other out again it looks like Mega Zude barely like escaping these punishes on his rock. Good for him, not good for Parkeroni. That was it gets hit by another one. Throws it out. He's definitely safe on that platform. Or under that platform. And Mega Dude's safe on top of the platform with the rock. back pretty easily, but get just straight forward smash. Arkham with a slight lead here, about a whole stock actually, not, not really slight. Mega Dude getting some good damage. Get by the Shadow Step to roll. I like what Parker Oni's doing here. He's doing the forward smash on his rock, which he always does. But he realizing that Mega Dude likes to roll in after that, so he's just using the shadow step to hit him after he finishes rolling. Very good adapt adaptation from Parker Oni. He's gonna need it to take back 
sack, make it one to one. Able to get that KO, jeez. That's a light pink puffball. Run up, down tilts, leaves. I like it. Ooh, like we were saying before, a big rock in the air. I will do it for that stock. Parkrun is just jumping right into that rock. That's cool. Um. Not the rock. He kicks him, but he gets rocked. Back throw, okay. It's caught out with the forest match right there. Slicing the pink puffball. It will even that out to one to one. Very nice match. <sighs> Sorry, game three situation. See how this goes. We got a Parker Oni's fan in the crowd. I like to see that. Parker Oni did adapt very well in that last game. Very night and day. It was a lot more dominant this game. Let's see if Mega Dude's able to clap back with some sort of adaptation of their own. Alright, I wonder what's going to change here. New stage, maybe Negative's going to swap character, stick to, stick to his guns playing Kirby. Swap up the game plan a little bit, who knows. Oh! Negative's out! Runes in. Mega Dude's in. I like Mega Dude's gonna switch to Byleth. Okay. How this goes. Maybe the sword will help zone out. Greninja, we're going to small battlefield here. It's like battlefield, but small. Or big battlefield, but extra small.
I think it is one of them going to be zoning out. Parker owning here. Parker is going to be wanting to get in here. All the the swapping just runs right past. I look right there. Also, I a platform. Lots of damage. Byleth significantly heavier than Kirby, I would imagine. Shadow kick right to the face. That's right off into the blast zone. To get into the up air into back air combo. That's pretty sweet. Missing two up smashes in a row. That's no good for Parkeroni, but Parkeroni's still with the lead here. They can do it off stage. Able to get back, actually. Both from rolling away. Love to see that. Wax him with that axe. Back out of the sky. Wait out the Greninja's options. Get back. How's he able to get down? That's the real question. It is. Okay. Ah. We'll spin around, but gets caught without smash. A long ability. Long move with a very long cooldown on it. As if you getting punished on that move is really high. Be able to get one off. Just slaps. Slaps the frog. He just might run away with this one. He's juggling like a madman and gets Mega Dude off the top there. Parkeroni winning 2 to 1. Good show by Mega Dude. Parkeroni with a really good adaptation there. From a super close, close game, game 1. Pretty dominant game 3 at least. Game 2 is was maybe a little bit close, but game 3 was very dominant. Right now, we're gonna have Tabby versus Mega Dude. So, no, Mega Dude! Go to come back, Mega Dude, that'd be great. We'll just wait for Tabby. See how this goes. There's Tabby. You love to see it. And there is Mega Dude. Real quick, I want to give a quick shout out to people that are making this possible. Uh, well, that one too. I don't want to go back to the first one. Ritual Motion. Game well, win well, be well. 
In my ritual motion, is they are the leading health and wellness brand for gamers. The company was founded with the mission of supporting the gaming and esports community by promoting health, wellness, diversity, and inclusive content, products, and socially impactful events. Our, their best selling their best selling products to date address some gamers something gamers and esports athletes are very familiar with, hand and wrist pain. Everyone's had it. Long session of gaming, your hands just hurt. And there is a way to help mitigate that pain. That is with Ritual Motions Warrior Gaming Skins. Fingerless gloves that have compression in them. They increase your blood flow and reduces muscle fatigue. Find out more for them at ritualmotion.com slash shop. And us, Bravest, we're having the D-Sports open. Our mission is to help grow esports communities by running events, creating content, helping organizers at colleges, parks, rec, apartments, and other places. If you have an esports scene that you want help kickstarting, let us know. We'll help you however we can. Right now, we're just going to wait a little bit. Let these gamers figure out what they're gaming as and gaming on. Gaming. Hog champ for everyone involved in this. Look at these gamers. They're already gaming. Look at that. We got a Curry versus a Joker. A Jamoker. Looks like they're going to FD. Abby's just blasting away. Rock eats it all per usual. Abby kind of just throwing out moves, getting hit by some turn. They do going for the dash grab, misses, and grabs again. A classic. They do now stage, able to get back for these. Did the Joker side beat go through the Kirby? Because Kirby still got poisoned by that. Crazy. Yeah. It looks like Mega Dude's plan is to just cover high and punish bad uh, offstage options. Or edge guard options. What Tabby needs to do here, maybe. Not commit to just a forward smash. That will get punished by Kirby Down B every day of the week. Yeah, that does go through it. That's interesting. Kirby does get the poison effect. Joker side B in a stone form. And Tabby getting able to get the cross up or smash on Kirby. Okay, okay, I see you, Tabby. Empowered side B before our sun goes away. Get a lot more damage. To refresh it too. The Tabby messing something up. I don't know what happened there. Covering way too low, not able to make it back. Big ol' up smash. Arsene is out though, that is no good. Comes the forward smash again. Able to roll out of the way in time though. Abby adapting a little bit there. No actual punish, but at least not getting hit by a rock. That's no good. Waits out the air dodge, but a little bit slow and able to getting a punish. I think he just runs around and grabs. Down smash covers a lot there. Holy cow. Yeah. 
It looked like it traded for a second, but Mega Dude was able to get the forward smash out. Taking game one. It didn't have the overlay up. My bad. Realized. But we know these players. We've seen them before. We know what they're about. Mega Dude taking game one off Tabby. Let's see where they go next. Looks like they're going right back in it. See if they change the stage at all. Three, going the Yoshi story. Ooh, belly. One, Love this stage. Great music. Great atmosphere. It's so bright and colorful. Look at the cardboard. Oh. Gorgeous. Abby almost was an unfortunate SD there. Was able to make it back. Stuck on the platform a little bit and gets. Big ol' up smash. Guys get cut. How'd that though? Ooh, just the tip. That arsene part of the forward smash. Ooh. And Tabby's able to get back. Almost SD in again. Don't want to see those. Abby at least adapting a little bit to Kirby down B. Going to wait it out a little bit more. Kirby can sit in that rock for a long time. God, it's a flaming hammer. The back air, he's able to live with good DI. Get some tech. Kirby wanted to down smash on, on recovery. Up throw. Last Tabby to the next stratosphere. Not even our planet anymore. Hey, dude, getting back. Kirby. Not surprising. We're having a lot of mix ups for recovery, it feels like. Ooh, a nice big meaty S match with Arsene. That'll definitely KO Kirby. Ooh, I like that. Dash tech and uh, I'd be a lot of Danny. Stuck on the platform again. I don't like to see that at all. Air dodge is an unfortunate timing again. Maybe could have wall jumped there, but. Air dodging off stage is sometimes more often than not a death sentence in this game. Not want to see that. Of course, I'm back at it again. Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. Waits it out. Gets a huge forward smash. Instantly destroying Kirby. Eyes it up pretty well. This is definitely doable. As long as Arsene's out for a little bit longer, get some damage up. Joker himself doesn't have that much kill power, but high enough percent, especially on this small of a stage, definitely do something. He gets up smash, is able to live with some good DI. Hit by the cut, no tech, but is able to get out of there in just in time. Oh, it's spooky! Oh, I hate these moments! Gets a forward smash! Gets a dash attack, gets him off stage a little bit. Get a little wiggle room. Trying to get some Arsene. Maybe use counter just always fishing for grabs. 
I don't know if Upthrow's gonna kill here or not. He's just grabbing and forward smashing. Ooh, gets gets the trump. Almost has Arsene. He's so close. He's gonna charge up because he's lower percent. Abby's lower percent. No, oh, but he she gets hit by the rock. Unfortunate. Abby just had a little bit more time. She definitely could have gotten that because Arsene was about to come up there. Good showing by Tabby of Mega Dude takes that game. Remember, you guys can always check out the bracket with exclamation point bracket in chat. Here, I'll, I'll drop it. Boom. There it is. Up next and last, we have Disciple versus Parkeroni. These two gamers could skedaddle really quick. Oh, she kicked him out. Our last game for the day. We have yet to see Disciple, but I'm excited to see Disciple. Like a nice fella. Once again, real quick, because we love to see it. Where are you at? Ritual motion. Game well, win well, be well. Can't say it enough. Wrist pain is not fun to deal with. It can lead to permanent damage as well. That is not fun to deal with. So, ritual motion. They got compression fingers gloves that'll help you game longer and healthier. Increase muscle fatigue, increase blood flow, lightweight design, a hand stitch in the USA featuring custom designs. Very neat. You can find more at ritualmotion.com slash shop. Oop. There it is. And us. You know what it is. Bravest Esports. Having a national championship esports open December 11th through 12th. Qualifier event. Cool. It's tight. If they're already in here. They are active gamers. Stay active. I'm excited to see who Disciple plays, though. I'll tell you for a fact, it's not Gino. <laughs> uh. Alright, both in. They're playing a Marth. Okay, okay. Got Classic Greninja versus Marth. Going to Battlefield. Nice basic stage. Love to see it. Parker on his game plan, same as every game plan. Want to do some combos, rush down. If he's getting zoned out a little bit, if he wants to take it slow, he can always throw out some shurikens. Disciple, on the other hand, kind of, kind of what everyone wants to do. He could rush down with the sword, get some nice tippers, or he could fade out, or he could just get back aired off stage and go to the next dimension. Sheesh. 
Mark Rooney already up a stock. Where Jungle's going. Ah, that was a lot of hit stun. Villagers. It was on a little bit with the shar or the shuriken. Mark Rooney only needing like one more good hit. Conversion. Stock. Disciple of maybe a tip or force might be able to finish it, but that's very risky. So much end lag. The normal hit of forward smash. Being stuck on the platform again. A lot of people begin stuck on platform. And the one time Disciple doesn't get stuck on a platform, it eats a, sh a shadow step right to the face. Back pretty easily. Let's put it down there, I like it. Keep him honest. Council Bagger demolishing so much damage. Double jab reset. Oh, he goes for the roll read there. No avail. A roll get up. You know, you know. Gets back. Thrown right back off again. Parkeroni says, no you, and does the same thing. They both countered each other's faces, and Parkeroni plummets to his death, but Disciple too low to get the main thing going off there. Game one going to go to Parkeroni. Let us see what they are going to do different, if anything at all. Parkeroni's been working for them all day, so I don't... Parkeroni needs to change anything up. Full adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Excuse me. Faithy changes here. Ooh, the bird! Love to see a Falco. Alright. This will be interesting. I don't even know what color this is. Alright. The green bird. Love to see it. So, Falco a lot more combo oriented than Marth is. Or at least multi hit moves. I don't really know about combos. Falco's up tilt. Very good. And. Besties. Low percent. Piece of cake. Hands off my bread, he says. Piece of cake. No homie stock showing that Parker only is here to win. Also, they might not know each other that well, so... At least they're having fun. Got 
Yeah, one of one of Falco's main ability or up tilt moves is uh his up tilt. The multi-hit move, it's fairly safe and a really good combo starter. Get a lot off of it. It's forward air. It goes so low and it hits so long, it's crazy. Back air, it's a good KO move. It works. He's just, he's just flinging those out like it's no tomorrow. And he gets hit by the down tilt up there. Hate to see it. Little foot school. I think that's dash tag up there, my bad. Not down tilt. A little bit different. Ooh, gets a nice kicks. Ooh, down or up smash. I <laughs> might steal that for later. Whew. I pull throwing out moves, but they're working. They're hitting, and they're hitting hard. Sure, there's another forward smash. Hashtag it off stage a little bit. He's gonna shout us up back. No edge guard. It's really bad. In this. Ooh. Back. He's kicks a shine at him. Ooh. Got a jab. I keep saying ooh. Going off stage. Really high percent. Oh, he just he just fire birds. Get that punished for it. Oh, the counter spike through the platform. Big big frog feet. That'll do it. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Parkeroni is the Winner of our tournament. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, that'll be it for us. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Lastly, thanks for uh, Bravest Esports, Ritual Motion, and Clark College for making this all possible. Yeah, thanks, guys. Until next time.